look at the network, we're now seeing the Ariba Discovery, which is the front end of the supplier network, where buyers can search for suppliers and see who they are. You're welcome to look at this, discovery.ariba.com, and find and search what, what is there. What's interesting is we have the concepts of ratings, and we provide when the supplier wants it, this is all under the control of the supplier, some feedback about what, do, what they're doing. We see here emergencygobags.com. They have a very high rating. They have posted response. They have one transacting relationship. So you have all information about what do they do on the network and who they are. So it gives them credibility. So you can invite them to your processes. We flip back now to the Ariba network where we are the supplier. We are the supplier, yeah. And we see the same leads here that came from that discovery. We've also seen the proposal here, my RFPs that were completed, the one that are pending for selection. I'm going to look at one of those RFP. What's in this steel RFP here? Well, I have a summary. This has been answered already. I see the different section, the scope, the default scope for the master trade scope, then different technical stuff. I'm not very much an expert in steel, but you have here the RFP that was published to the supplier. On another tab, contracts. The supplier can negotiate, and here we have a contract that needs to be negotiated with his buyer, with yourself. And in here, it's all done electronically inside the system. Finally, we have the orders and invoice. We're gonna pass a little bit more time here to show you the functionalities. You've seen them already, some of them, but we'll try to show you other things. So, a purchase order. And instead of confirming, we'll create a shipping notice this time. So we'll click on shipping notice. And here a little bit at light speed, he's providing when it's going to be delivered by the courier, it's gonna be by air with this tracking number. And for supply chain expediting, he can put very much details in there for more information that is needed. And from there, he creates an invoice. This is going very quick, but <laughs> that's the whole point of the network. And with the business rules we talked about, if you make errors, the system stops you from creating this invoice until you've corrected everything, then you can submit this invoice. So the error is not sent to the buyer. It is kept in here as long as the errors is not corrected. That brings us to some other functionalities here. You see here, service entry sheets, we have a upload, download, collaboration. We have many other documents that are supported on the network to help do any process electronically. Now invoices here, oh, this is a rejected invoice. What's happening? Well, uh, let's look at the history. This one was rejected because uh, it was a duplicate invoice number, the same error we saw before, but this would have been in context of a supplier that's integrated. So even in any cases, we always put that police there. So just to show you some other functionalities here, the supplier profile, we've seen this in context of supplier information management, but here we see here that a big supplier can have multiple employees assigned to different roles. So one can do RFP, the other one can do orders, just to help when it's very, very large company. And maybe the last thing is, should supplier not want to go on the website that you're seeing, but want to do EDI, XML, different mechanism to receive the orders, they can do it here and configure it. So they can really connect their ERP to this system. So this was the integration piece. So this was in a nutshell, what the Ariba is about, making everything electronic. <music>